I'm a high value girl. I'm be honest, I'm 30 years old and I really want to be married. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so I would have to agree to you, agree with you. I think some of the things that some of the ways I've been going about dating, maybe that's why I'm still single. Okay. So I just I just really came up here to thank you for your advice. I really am listening to okay. you. Uh, what what state are you in? What's it where you at? I'm from um Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina. Okay. How far is that away from Duke? Oh, we're um Duke is in Durham, so it's the city of medicine. Okay, well, so because you have a isn't it, isn't the college triangle down there? Uh huh. I have NC State, UNC, Duke. So, are you involved in any of those school associations? Is that a problem? Would, yes. I mean, what should I be doing? I mean, because I'm an entrepreneur, I sell cars. I don't know, like, why why I would be over there. You know what I'm saying? Well. Uh, this is why I say book a session, but here's the thing. Look, <laughs> seriously, if you sell cars, do, do you not network? I do, cars? like, I sell cars, like, I contract. Okay, well, listen, like, if you you can apply it in, in selling cars, you need to apply it in selling you. See, you're in Raleigh, and you got to, uh, coming from sales, I don't understand how salespeople don't understand this. You got to, you got to prospect to get leads, to get appointments. To, to present, to pitch, to close. How many leads are you getting sitting in your house? Well, and Kevin, you got the college triangle, the college triangle, Duke, North University of North Carolina, NC State, all that has alumni associations, football programs, basketball programs, lots of money flows through there. You need to become, I don't care how you get there, but get around those places of academics and money because that's what band boosters, alumnus, and things like that, the Chamber of Commerce, um, American Heart Association, charities, things like that. You just cannot sit and I'll just be cute. You gotta do something. <laughs> this is what back this is how Becky kicks y'all's ass because they're willing to get out of the house and do something. Okay. Well, I would definitely implement your advice. I really do appreciate it. I mean, you're right, you know what I'm saying? Because you're right. I'm not even yep. gonna. Black yeah. women can, cannot be lazy, relying on just. <laughs> okay, I got a question too before we go. If I, I do want a high value man, you know what I'm saying? I do. Am yeah. I wrong? Because I'm a, and I'm a very, because I'm in sales, I have a strong personality, very sharp, and I, I like to go with after I want. I normally just don't like to lose. Am I wrong for like, is it too controlling for me to kind of? Pick the guy, not be aggressive, but in my brain, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to go after him. Is it wrong to go after a guy, or should I just let him come to me? Wrong is a wrong is not the right is not the word to use. That's subjective. But you say you want a high value man. Yeah. Why? Because I'm a high value girl. I feel like you know the Bible. Why does that make? Hold on. Why does that make sense to y'all? What you mean? Why does it make sense to you? Because you look in your bank account. And you say I'm a high value girl, so I should get a high value man. Why does that make sense to y'all? Well, y'all know that's not how we pick. Well, I don't know. When I say high value, I guess everybody has their different definitions of high value. I have mm -hmm. my definition. One, I don't believe in fifty fifty anything, and it's like a lot of guys who well, let me help you. It. Let me help you out. High value is feminine. Okay. Okay. High value is feminine. No, I'm talking about a high value man. What is high a high value? value femi you said you're a high value girl. I, I believe I am. Then that means your femininity would be number one. Right. That goes opposite to aggression. Opposite of aggression. Yes. Okay. Aggression is masculine. So maybe I should turn off my sales when I'm dating. I'm just telling you what high value men want. Is not aggressive females. They want feminine women. Okay, okay. <laughs> See, in, in you ladies' mind, stop looking at the comment section. Okay. <laughs> I'm not looking in the comment section. Why do y'all do I'm, that too? No, because I said I saw somebody say focus I was a whore. Focus like, here. Focus whore. here. Fo focus I'm here. Fo I'm focused. I'm focused. Unless you, because if you down there, book a session. <laughs> because okay. pay, pay attention. And see, this, and, and this is, and I'm going to use this as an example. This is a teaching lesson. 
You know I have a platform and people do something and so forth. You got me online and you're too worried about what people are saying in the comment section versus paying attention to this little bit of time I have. That's a break in rapport with a high value man. You just showed high value men she's not for me because if I'm sitting in front of her, she's going to be worried about everybody else instead of me. That's not how we roll. So you may be successful in your career, but your education, your income, does not increase your value to men. Okay. I did a broadcast on that two, three days ago. Men value your femininity, your beauty, your fitness, your submissiveness, your cooperation, your womb. And high value men would rather go get the girl who works on fries and McDonald's mm. than a six figure top salesperson. Well, I hear what you're say, saying, Kevin, but a lot of guys that I date, they do act like they care about that. You know, they act like, oh, are they you know, high value men? They're, then they're not high value men if they're acting like they care about that. I'm asking you. No, 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 no. Are they, do they make six, do they make $10,000 yeah. a month? They're like, oh, I want her to hustle. Hold I on, want hold, her on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They make $10,000 a month. Yeah. I, I see. For five years. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, when I define high value, it's $10,000 a month in Atlanta, Dallas, Houston, Charlotte dollars for at least five years. Other high value men recognize them as a peer. They have a network of high value men and other people. They're visible. Meaning what they do is LinkedIn level, meaning they're not entrepreneurs, means they have a title that most people understand and their money is above board. And last, they're useful to others and the group. Many of you ladies think high value just means because somebody's making more money, two or three, two, double the money what, where you're at. And that's high value is far more than that. I do. I, and I don't believe a man's value it just equates with money. I don't. I don't. How do you? I think I'm 30. Well, far too many of you ladies are, are too concerned too much on what you want and you have no idea what men want. Well, that's why I'm up here, because I need to know. Well, <laughs> well this is why, this is why well, but, but unfortunately, here's the reality. Unfortunately, I, my show is to kind of start to start the conversation. But if you want to really know, you're going to have to actually pay for the learning curve. You went to college, right? Yes. <laughs> All right, so you went, into, you went into debt for a degree that you didn't need to sell cars. Actually, I didn't finish. I didn't finish. Didn't I went matter. to NCC. No, that's not the point. That's not, not the point. It's not the point. The point is, the kind of men you're talking about are rare. And you're competing against the best of black women and the best of other women for them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they're going to get exactly what they want. Okay, question. I am too. I mean, I am. I normally get what I, 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 I'm going to get. That's why I'm even up here, because I, I like to get what I want. Obviously, what I've been doing ain't been really working out, but I'm just that type of person. Uh, you cannot alpha your way through this. I'm just going to get what I want. You can't do that. You can't, you can't determine what we do as men. The only thing you can control access to is your body. We control access to relationships. See, you're already out of your place. When I said the the kind of men you want are going to get what they want, I'm going to get what I want too. Put your penis up. <laughs> I don't have one of those, Kevin. But you, but you but you're using the energy. Oh, you're saying like I'm giving off masculine yeah masculine energy. energy. Yeah, you're not going to get a high value. It does not do this. Okay. You're not demure. You're not refined, reserved. Quiet. You're, hey, I'm out here. What's going on? Hey, what's up? Let's turn up. That ain't what we do. That's not what I value do. Who's gonna take I, you to a country club with a mayor's ball with all that? Well, I'm. T I'm. First of all, it's different levels to, to different sides to me. You're nope. seeing one side. Well, to me. well, but I'm seeing what you show me, and you don't know me, and you're no, in front of thousands of people, and so we tend to be who we are. I'm an image because, ma'am, we are who we are, and my point is. Where's, where's your dad at? He at home getting over COVID. Hmm. What do you do for a living? He owns his own company. 
Okay. Um, he he owns a moving company. Okay, moving company, respectable. Yeah. Middle class income though. He makes good money. I said middle class. I didn't say broke. I said middle class. <laughs> why? See, why do black? Like, why I, do so I, many I black know. women? You hear middle class, you automatically think less than. You hear blue collar, you think less than. No, I don't think less than. Listen, listen, and that's where your high value men are for most of you. Your daddy. Yeah. But would you date a man? I mean, be honest. Would you date a man with a moving company? Yes. My dad makes good money. Would you money. date a man who's starting a moving company? Uh, yes. I, I, I would date potential. Okay. I would. If I could, that's if not I high could value. Say, say what now? It's not high value then. What would you not have? High value company? is already there. Okay. High value was already there. He had to be doing what he's doing for five years. He's already there. He's already a Super Bowl champ. Yeah, my dad's had in, this company for 20 years. But but you came in saying, I want a high value man. I do. Exactly. You want him already to be there. No, I never said that. That's what you said. I never said That's that. That's what high value means. Oh, okay. So I'm confused. Now, I do got a, a question for you. Are you saying that women should not desire a high value man that's already there and we should be open to men or or and we shouldn't be open to men who who's building? No, because, no, I'm, no, I'm saying you need to be in your lane. And most women don't want to build but with a man who's building. Like how was your mother when she married your father? She was 20 through 22, I believe. Right. 8 years younger than you. There's, there, you saw the pattern and you chose not to do it. Because <laughs> I'm going to get what I want. So you already want somebody who's where your daddy is now, but you got to marry him while he's 22. That's why I high value men. Look at y'all like y'all crazy because you want to come after we already won. You don't want to build. You want us after we already got the six figures and this and that and something and so forth. And we're like, okay, I'm going to get the premium. Because well, that I was different. My dad and my mom were younger. They were younger. So that's different. You were 22. You could have did that too. I could have, but that's not exactly. the way life went. No, no. That's not what you chose. <laughs> you had suitable men uh, who approached you in your teens and 20s, but you'd overlook them for something else. Possibly. Possibly. I said possibly. We don't know that's a fact. There, no, no, I no, we do. No, because see, I did a video <laughs> on you likely met your, your your match and you just blew it. I don't remember him. If he came really? from so my what's way, long I don't Okay, what's the longest relationship you've ever had? Um, Maybe about six months. Six months, your entire life. Right. Even when you were in high school and college. I didn't really date in high school and college. I mean, in high school. How long ago was your last relationship? <sighs> I don't even want to really count that. But it was this summer. I don't even count it. But ma'am, if you only had six, if your last relationship has been six months, I got worse news for you. What? You ready? Are you going to probably say it's me, but okay. The question was, okay, you're not ready for it. Okay, I'm ready. No, you're not. You don't have the skills for it. You, The longest job you ever held as a man is six months. And you want uh, you want an executive level position, man, and you only got six months of work history. If your relationship history was a resume, it would be trash. How? Maybe you Because you've know. only held a job for six months. You don't know that. Maybe I wasn't dating all those years. Man, see, this is what this is when this is when the ego comes out. I don't have to know. I know one thing. When I'm reading right now, what you're saying you want, and what the kind of men that fit into that category. What I do know unequivocally is what the hundreds and thousands of men who are like that, where I'm in that category, the women they want and who they pick, and they don't have this energy. They don't have these talking points. They don't have this relationship history. See, were you raised to be a housewife? Um, no. I, I, 
You're raised to be independent. <laughs> and that's not what a high value man is like. I mean, I wouldn't say that. My mom was a housewife for. Man, if you were raised to be a housewife, you there's no way you'd have no, only have a six month relationship in 30 years. That maybe, but Kevin, you, maybe God no, has no, a man in front of me. No, that's bullshit. That's not, it's not about a man. See how we see audience, see I, how this works, see how this works. If you, your mama was made at 22. Mm -hmm. And you looked at your mother and did you say you want to be like your mother or did you want to be different? In some ways, in some well, ways What's not. the answer? What's the answer? It's, that's the, that's a broad answer. Well, which one is it? Some way, 50, 50, 50. Really? Well, you should have did the 50, 50 that she did got married at 22. I could have if God presented him to me. God ain't got nothing to do with this. That's bullshit. It's I mean, I believe purpose. in God. I don't know. I believe in God, too. And I was raised in the church, baptized in five. You want me to get you my Bible from 1974? I believe I've in been him. over three singles ministries. So I get tired of you women putting this stuff on God. <laughs> Marriage is a natural choice. And this is why I'm, you laughing, but this is why so many black women are by themselves, because y'all just talk and talk and talk, and then your ego and your this and that, and it just goes in one end around the other. Just pew, 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 pew. Ma'am, you've had six months relationship history in 30 years. If I presented a man who was the kind of man you said you want, you don't fit what he would need because you have no experience being with the man or cooperating with him. You don't believe on, on the months. job training? Okay. On the job training, you don't believe? Yeah, they're going to go get a younger woman to do it. A woman with better relationship history. Well, I'm 30. I'm not old. Oh, you're old for marriage? I don't think so. Okay. Okay, and, and and understand something. This is what I mean, folks. They don't. You can't say anything. I'm not old for marriage. If you went to a matchmaker, they would tell you you're old for marriage. And at what age does high risk pregnancy start? At 35. Right. So if you met a man today, how who was ready to be married? What's the soonest you'd be married to this man? I honestly have a rule for myself. I wouldn't date anybody over a year. So he he's got to he's got to be ready within a year. If you don't know within a year, my dad told me mm -hmm. when, if a man you, doesn't know within three when months. When you turn thirty one, I turned thirty one November fifth. Okay, so if he met you today, you'd be married within a year. How long would you want to be married before you start having kids? Right away. So you want to get pregnant on your honeymoon night? I would love to. Right, but see, here's the thing. What are the chances of meeting somebody and being ready to marry that being married in a year when you only have six months of relationship history over your lifetime? Well, that's look. We're talking about we're talking so about what it comes down, ultimately. What this is what it comes down to. This is not Disney. This is not fantasy. This is really practical. Right. You have little to no relationship history, meaning cooperation with the man. A man would be a fool to move that quick on somebody who has no demonstrated relationship history. I mean. That's, that's how men look at this, especially when you come from a mother who was married at 22 and your parents been married for years. You saw the path, but what most people look back and say, you saw your mom and like, well, I love my mom, but she, she got married too early. I want to get out here and do what I want to do. That's usually more the story. And that's the way it's presenting, man. And it's not a judgment, but what I'm saying is ultimately, the men you're talking about, they don't look for women like that. They look for women who are feminine, help me, different energy about working with their men, serving their family, they're wanting to do it early. They're not looking for this independent, sass kind of thing. Well, everything you just described is me, other than the fact that I didn't do it early. I'm very submissive. I'm very caring, very giving what... <laughs> You can totally, say that, but what does that show? You, show totally what does that show in relationships? Life, what does that know. show in relationships? What? Submissive. So if you're submissive and cooperative, what what all men want, and you are a black woman in the South, you're telling me that no black man who has been suitable has come across your path? Because that's what all men want. I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe they have, maybe they haven't. You know what I'm saying? Not to me, no, not suitable. I will say, not as suitable. Why aren't they suitable? I mean, to me, immaturity, immaturity. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I would say immaturity. They don't believe. One of my my major deal breakers is if you don't have the same spiritual beliefs as me. A lot of them don't. They say they do, but.
but they're not acting like actions are not lining up with that. You get what I'm saying? Or I just don't see a lot of men who display leadership values. You get what I'm saying? You want me to submit, but you got to give me something to submit to. It's no oh, way. See, I'm about to hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I just turn down the volume and let you see how you are moving, your energy is all sass. That's what I'm sitting here doing. I'm just reading you, and you think you're involving, informing me. And I'm like, man, I talk to you every night, and I've talked to you for 30 years. And I'm trying to tell you, you're just like the other snowflakes out here who think you're special, and you're not. Because here's the question, in this sense, we're all God's creatures, but if you need them to have the same spiritual beliefs, right? Mm -hmm. Then your pastor should be helping you lead this husband search, not you. Actually, he don't really believe in a singles ministry. Well, then you're under the wrong shepherd. I don't know about that. Why you know, every that? time I get no, no, sorry, every time I give an answer that lines up with something, it's all shame, insults, guilt. Uh, the need to be right, man, is a is a big problem with a lot of black women. And and you've been doing you so long that this is just habit to you. And the thing is, I'm telling you how the kind of men you say you want. If you if you really want to know, I'll tell you what I do. I'll put this video up on YouTube and I'll let high value men evaluate you. How about that? Hey, I'm 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 all for it. Okay, you you want me to put it up on YouTube and put it and put it in front of, um, in front of a bunch of men and say, is this the kind of caliber woman, based upon this interview, that you want? If, like I said, yeah, that doesn't that doesn't frighten okay. me. That doesn't okay. frighten me. You don't know why so many women who come from middle class background, from middle class families, want these exceptionally high earning men. Now you just said that men. Money does not equate to value. I never, you just said high earning. That's what you said. That's a no, 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 no. I said a woman's money does not equate to value. A man's okay. money is definitely part of his value. Okay. And I don't, know why so, I don't know why so many middle class, you're a middle class raised woman. Your mother married at 22. Your father owns a moving company. Middle class, successful. You should be getting with another middle class, average, successful person. Not be looking for an elite top 10% earner. I mean, I will start there, but you know, once you get with me, we gonna we 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 shooting to the stars. Why we gotta stay there? Why we gotta stay middle class? So again, this is one of the remember so if you're listening, the lady who was in Houston, the forty three year old. I didn't, I didn't hear her. I, no, I'm talking to her. She's listening. This is what I was saying about you with the plumber. You're taking a man who was perfectly fine doing what he was doing, and you still going to make him be more than he needs to be so you can keep up with the Joneses. No, it's Listen. called pushing people to No, no, potential. no. It's called, it's called, I'm not talking to you. Oh. I'm talking because I spoke to a woman Saturday night who said the same thing. She's 43. The same thing. Matter of fact, where is it? Matter of fact, I, Thomas the Plumber is what I call it. I could get with him and we're going to be accredited investors and this and that. And I'm like, I always got to push a man to be something. If he's happy with what he is, it's like, it's like all of a sudden black folks have become, black women start thinking because you make a certain amount of money, only men who make what you make qualify. So even if you meet a man who is in the top 15% of men, that still ain't good enough because he has to make six figures. And you talk about Christian, none of what you're talking about, due respect, man, nothing what you've talked about is 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 is, is uh, Christian. It's all I wrong. think men make money more of a big deal than women do. For man, one, that's what you've talked about the entire time you've been here is the, the income. No, you talk about this care. Okay. I just said I don't. I said that's a part of me. I don't believe that value to me when I'm talking about a man. For one, his spirituality is number one. That's oh, so you would be okay with a man making uh, forty-two thousand dollars a year if he's a he's a devout Christian. <laughs> I 
Don't play with me. <laughs> that's sad. That's sad because I mean, it's, 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 sad, it's sad because 51% of black men are single and childless and 64% are in the middle class. It's sad that that man was your father, but he ain't good enough for you. It's sad.